Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do DIY monthly planner inserts on a word. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's jump right in. Okay, so we're going to start by going to Word, to Word Publishing Layout. And first we're going to format the page. So we go to File, and then we go to Page Setup. And this is where we'll just change the dimensions of um, the size of the actual paper. Um, and it'll be the proper size for your planner, whatever size, whatever um, size that your planner uses. So I'm using my Filofax Personal, which I already have saved the special settings. To save a special setting, watch my last video, I'll put it in the link below. So I pressed OK because the size is there, 3.7 by 6.7. Then I went to format document and it has to be the size make sure that it says mirror margins so that when you print it out and punch holes it's on the right side like the punch the hole punches will be on the inner on the inside not on the outside so it should be something look like something like that you'll see the little blue lines around it so now I'm doing something different. I am going to put a table instead of doing separate little boxes. This is saving a lot of time. And also you can write directly on them and not have to add an additional text box in there. So it's a huge time saver. And that rectangular box is simply by going to shapes and making it fit the margins. So I am just fitting it there and the table should be four by six because you're gonna have the header for the days and it should be for 30 to 31 days, obviously. So, um, as you can tell, I moved up the first row to make, make it fit that purple band. Then I clicked erase on the right hand side and I'm erasing the lines, which is awesome because that little column I use for my monthly to do just resizing it. So the second thing I'm doing right now is I kind of moved the table over and I am changing the color of the header. So I go, I double click on it and then I press fill. And then I go to fill effects. Then I click on pattern and actually Word has different types of patterns so you can mix two different colors. I didn't know they had this, I just kind of discovered it so that's cool. Um, and I think I decided on the mint green and the hot pink because I feel like those two really go well together or, you know, whatever. I kind of just liked it. So here I am trying to find the perfect color. And yeah, so that's like pretty much your foundation for the monthly insert. And now I'm trying to put the words in. And like I said before, it's much easier. You just write straight on the cell box. So that's really awesome. It's a huge time saver, like I said before. And if when the words don't fit in the cell box, it's actually something you can do to make it fit. So I'll show you that next. And I am putting in Daily Weekend. Any of the fonts that I'm using, I'll put down below. I download them all, they're for free. I just like to have my own because there are actually a lot of types of different fonts out there. And I'm a visual person, so I feel like I really like fonts. So here it is. I'm trying to put Wednesday and I couldn't fit it. So I write the word and I highlight it. And I go to that on the toolbar on top. It says the width W. It makes it skinnier until it fits the, lo the box. So that was pretty cool. I also just discovered that recently. I was just kind of playing around with it because I was upset because it didn't fit. So here I am on the second page. To add a second page, you just click on layout and it should say add page on the left uh, corner. And I'm putting in, doing the same thing. It'll be a four by six table. And here I, I went to shapes and I added the rectangle to, made it, to make it fit that header size that I wanted. And I'm going to fill it and make it look like the one from above. So you see that that header, colored header is actually on top of the line. So I want it to be behind the lines. 
So I double click on it and I put a click on reorder and I send to back. And the lines pop up. Yay! So I made it fit the margins and everything. And here is the rest of the week. I just typed in the rest of the week. adding just like clip arts or like little pictures in it. Um, like I said before, I don't really use stickers. I I think stickers are cool. I, I mean, who doesn't like stickers? But I just feel like I feel a little bit of a waste. So um, I put my own photos to just make it look a little more colorful. So I'm just, I download this image and I cropped it. And I went to, actually, I downloaded the image. I went to, double clicked it and it opened up on preview. I went to the toolbox and selected it, cropped it out, and I used the wand to erase everything behind it. So when you put it on your calendar, there's nothing behind it, it's just the photo. So here is a couple of photos that I fixed up. Here's the pineapple. And July doesn't start till Friday of, the, of this month, of the month. So I'm still gonna just put like photos in these days because you don't really need to. There's not gonna be anything there. Anyway, so. And I'm just organizing. That's kind of how I ended up with that. And on the left top column, you see that I. Um, have monthly to do and I just like to have that so that every week I could do one or two big tasks I guess that need to be done so that's kind of how I ended up you can even put pictures on the days that are special like a birthday you can find any of those images online for free and maybe even download them for free or pay for some or do what I do and just um, kind of erase the background as long as you're just keeping them for yourself so then I go to File, and I save as PDF, and you press Save, then you go and look for it, and this is similar to what we did in the last, the printer insert video from before, where we go to, P, uh, we, go to um, we go to Adobe or some kind of PDF opener, uh, um, PDF viewer and print it. This is the best way to print it. And you'll see that I have portraits, I have multiple on one page, and I also make sure that there are margins visible so that when I cut, I can cut on those lines. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment, on any questions that you guys have, I can definitely help you out and try to answer as best as I can. Alright, see you guys next video. Bye!